Hello, beautiful ones. This is Miss Arkeith, the Soul to Soul Connection, coming to you with your Libra, April 2019 reading. Well, I had some camera difficulties, and I've already uh, shuffled and uh, dealt the first set of cards, your Soul Journey cards. They're just sitting out right now, just right here. So they're ready, and I did not reshuffle or anything because I like to stay with the main cards I had so I'm um, sorry that you're not going to get to see me shuffle 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 but I am back okay Libra listen all of these messages may not resonate with you the ones that do please go with them run with them these are your angels your ancestors your spirit guides trying to give you messages universe trying to guide you in the right direction okay now please do not forget to subscribe like and comment and share all this miss arkeet the love this springy love that we have sprung into do you feel it libra yes i know you do it is just like good right it's just like good right you just feel good right you should feel good like i don't know but the cards are looking that way thus far. The angels are looking at us it's like you have put in some work, okay? Look, if you would like a personal reading, all of my information will be below. Just hit me up and let me know. Hey, I need some soul guidance, Miss Arkeetha. What? What? Please help me. I... That's usually how I guess. No, I don't. But look... <laughs> I am here for you. That's what I do. I read energy, your soul journey, um, what, what can be adjusted. The angels give me the messages to guide you along. You know, sometimes you just need a little adjustment. Sometimes you need just need an answer to that doubt. And that's what it is. But we have been truly putting in the work us Libras. You know what I'm saying? And this spring, we are looking at our flowers bloom okay everything has been fertilized everything is blooming and we are super excited like i'm like i said look if everything is just feeling so good right now you know great is just like right around the corner right libra all right so let's get started i can't get myself look i'm all just uh, whoo because it was a lot of work it was a lot of work to get us here but we are here. It was the failures. Like, like I was saying before, before I was really interrupted before with the inter interruption in my camera. Look, the failures before was what taught us. We were so tired of, you know, beating ourselves up, you know, looking at other situations. But what we did was we looked at other situations instead of looking at it as like, why that person? Why? It was like, okay, so let's see how that person actually did that. And how can I implement that? And that's where we were. We were very disciplined in our actions. You know, when you know something is not working, you're not going to continuously, continuously keep doing the same thing. I mean, that would just be crazy. That would just be like sabotage to yourself, right? So we knew that we had to fix some things. And that's where we're at. We're, we're walking through the door after we have done so much work, growth, growth, growth for sure and surrendering to the process like I know for sure myself like I, I'm a Libra so I know where we're at like I feel it all together the cards absolutely you know read to where Libra is in the part where we're just letting the universe show us the way we're surrendering control to the universe we're like letting god sprinkle all that magic all that positive energy over because knowing that when you release that control that allows for space that allows for space for the positive energy to flow and yes it's a truly freeing freedom you feel like you can breathe you feel like you're there you're you're almost there at least Okay, things should be falling into place. Little signs, little things that's showing you that, yes, you are in the right, going in the right direction. Okay, um, it should not be like a tug and a pull and just a struggle at this point. And if it is, Libra, please just look at, look at the whole, the situation in a whole. And it's going to bring you your angels because your answers because change is definitely on the way okay i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement 
movement that shows us the judgments that we make, the good judgments, because the judgments is taking us into, you know, into the path of least resistance. We've been on that path of resistance long enough. So Libra, that's where you're going. Understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. So the thing about it is the judgment that you're making now, you're playing chess and not checkers. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be jumping into things that's going to make your growth stagnant. You want to continue moving. You want to continue growing because you know you have things, you know, to do. You know, your self-esteem should be really high right now. Like you should be feeling like at this point you can do anything. And so what's going to happen is when you're in a place like this where I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So when you're in that kind of mind space, of course, happiness comes about. And, and happiness, again, shows you the way, lets you know, yes, you're going in the right direction. You're going in the down the path of least resistance. You're not making this hard for yourself. You're going towards the path of your soul because you have the courage to do this now. The courage that you didn't have and the self-esteem that you didn't have before. Everything should be feeling pretty damn good for you right now and you because you trusted in the process you knew that you were going to get bumps and bruises along the way you knew that some of your relationships were going to you know be uh, go, go you know away basically because you knew that you wanted to attract those people who serve your highest good you know so sometimes that means subtracting others out you know, the discipline that you have to have to do that type of thing, because with a Libra, that's not easy. You know what I'm saying? We don't like hurting anybody's, for the most part, hurting anybody's feelings. But we had the courage to do what we had to do to move forward, to get to the point that you needed to get to. Right. So, of course, again, that brings uh, the, the, the peace and freedom, you know, that we so much want that we so much and it looks like it feels and it's just like swirling together like this because so long Libras have searched for that peace and freedom that was eluding us okay so all said and done of course the success card and abundance card is on it because you feel like you successfully you know been through the storm you successfully fought that good fight and now you're at the point where you feel like okay now the light is shining upon you can feel the light shining through you and that is great okay and again if you're still in a place Libra where you don't quite you're not quite there yet just know that the doors are opening up and as long as you seek it you seek it you will find it okay so no more are we going to blame others for, you know, the things that uh, we feel like were, you know, failures in our life. We're taking, we're taking ownership. And that's the only thing that you can do, Libra, right? Taking ownership. We are moving forward. Moving forward, 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 forward. That's it. That's it. You know, let me write that down. Moving forward yes it's a forward like just a forward like growth right now for us and right and we're feeling it all the way right exchange energy to create abundance which we have the abundance card and we have the success card so it's all about the energy that you put out into the universe libra i mean really like we bring the balance we're the justice scale so we bring the balance that for all of the zodiac signs so when we were out of balance and our energy is not good and our energy is low and our vibrations are low the rest it everything else is thrown out of whack truly because that's the energy everyone is connected by energy be open to healing information right be open to healing information be open to the information that comes through to you that is for your betterment 
don't judge it. That's where the judgment card it comes into. Don't be so quick to judge all information that comes through. Be open to information because it might be that one spark of information that opens up the next path for you because the paths are like branches. One path is just not, you know, it, 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 the paths that you're going on, the journeys that you're going on may not just be one. You know, you may be the right bass. That's right summer is coming and that's going to be the main time that i'm getting that um a libra will be basking in the joy and the light like it's setting up it's like setting the pins up you know at the bowling alley or whatever that's what it's like setting everything up for whatever's coming for us like you know each person's journey is different it could be a relationship i'm oh, like again i'm telling you mine is just the soul journey itself it covers everything it covers the whole journey itself so of course in life it's more than one part to your journey but whatever it is that you're going through they're saying just go ahead and continue to be the warrior you have battling through it if it's if you're still in the battle you know, trying to win this war. Just know that you're still the warrior because it's for you. It's meant for you. It's going to happen. But every, like I keep saying here, it goes again. Everything in divine order and in divine timing. It's about, this is my season of just throwing that out there, pitching that out there, tossing that out there because it's so important for everybody to understand that just because you feel like things should happen in your timing, the universe has everything set up and it could be, it could be totally on your timing because your timing was like spot on. But for others, it's going to be in the timing that the universe has set for you because it was already planned before you. If that makes sense. I know, I know, I know, but it's true. It's a true. So what they're trying to say is see beyond the current situation. You may not be sitting on stacks and bags and all of that right now. And you may not be, you know, um, in the career or, um, financial spot or in the relationship that you feel like you should be in right now. But just know that you have been putting in the work. You have been doing the soul work and you're doing the things that you need to do. So it's definitely coming, but it has to fall in the place. So, because if you get it at the wrong time, okay, it may not work out the way that the universe had it set up to work out because what happens is when you're on a path and by Libras being those type of, you know, the, the zodiac part of the zodiac sign that balances everything out. If you rush things and rush into things and things do not balance out the way they should, then that messes up other people's paths as well. Other souls paths as well. That's how inter intertwined it really is. And people do not understand. It just really is. Okay. So what they're saying is take note. Uh, you got the moon card. Take note of intuitive messages. So you will be getting those messages. You will be getting those signs, angel numbers, uh, feathers, pennies, dimes, nickels, whatever, butterflies. I mean, it's so many cardinals. It's so many signs. But especially how you feel during the cycles of the moon, okay? How your energy change and what you need to do to cleanse that energy so you can continue on and continue to getting those messages. And a lot of times moon cycle too is like the messages, the dreams that you get. If you've been having dreams lately or feeling like, you know, it's something that's tugging at you and in your dreams, is they have been giving you messages. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, or you get a lot of deja vu moments and you feel like this has happened before. No, it happened in a dream because this is what the dream was trying to prep you for or prepare you for this moment in time. Deep, I know, but it happens all of the time. Okay. So just know, Libra, this is just part of April. It's just part of still setting things up, setting things up for, you know, your journey. 
you know, uh, we've had all those times of uh, the patience car, be patient and just, you know, stop the worrying and all of that. And we had all, I remember all of those cards. I remember Libra, all of those cards. And I used to be like, why, why do I have to be patient? Now they're telling you, A, hey, shift your perception, feel the wind in your hair because this is it. This is what we were setting you up for. This is it. So if it's something that in your life that you have been truly working on, putting forth effort on whatever that situation is, whatever that is, this is the time of blooming. This is the time to put as much positive energy into it. Your intentions, what I'm saying is visibly see how it's meant for you. I was marinate in how it is for you, meant for you, like feel it, know it. That is yours. You have to envelop it, you know, and that's where you're at. Unleash the wild within. Look, open up, open up, um, step uh, out of the box. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, this is to, uh, our time truly to do things that we probably never thought we would do or could do or whatever. This is that time for us Libras. Okay. Libra is that time. So, and if you feel like it, it's true. Surround yourself always, though, and first foremost with protective energy, the arrow. Make sure you're always surrounding yourself with protective energy, please. Which would be, like I said, that that's the white candles. Again, um, saging. I like California sage, lavender sage. I kind of sage. I love it. I love it. I love it. And Gaia says to you, boom, Libra, this is your eternal dance. Okay. This is your movement. Okay. That's why you feel like the wind uh, around you. This is the will of life for you. This is the path of least resistance. I said that. Didn't I just say that? This is the path of least resistance for you. Okay. That's what it feels like. It feels good. It feels good because it's a good space. You have to do it in, you have to do it in spaces and moments. And you know what I'm saying? It just all, you, it can't flood to you all at one time. You'd be done. You'd be done. You have to feel each moment so you can have gratitude for each moment so you can understand each moment so you can deliver that to the people in your life. You know, is 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 it gives you total gratification for this moment in your life, the movement that you're going through, the changes that's going the going through, the growth that's going through, because that is the path of least resistance. You don't feel like this is just too hard. The temptress, seduction, deceit, and broken promises. That's what you're over. That you're over. That you're over. That. Anything and everyone that's, if, if there's, a, if that's what you're removing, you're removing it. You're letting it go. You're taking it out of, you're like, look, I don't have time for this. I really don't have time for any of this. So anybody that has deceit for me, anybody that has, that's trying to seduct me, seduce me into the, all these different areas that does not benefit me. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for broken promises. Either you got it for me or you don't. I don't have time for it. I really don't. I, I'm, I'm in movement right now. I'm in movement right now. That's where you're at. You really don't have time for the frackinacle. You don't have time because you're rising above, boo boo. Because you're rising above. Like, you, this is a moment of clarity, freedom, and you got the freedom card up front, right? Right? You already had the, uh, the freedom card up front. So you're rising above. This is, and that's a number 11, a card, 11, 11, 11. We already know what that's all about. Okay. 11 doors opening up for you, Libra. Doors opening up, leading you in the right direction, the path of least resistance. All of the cards saying that all of the cards are letting you know that. And if you are doing anything right now, my love, that is not leading you there. The door is here for you. Remove some things out. Remove some things out. Say goodbye because it's not helping you. Because right now, if you are a leaper in this season right now, you should be moving forward. Moving forward. That's it. Path of least resistance. There you go. Clarity, freedom, solution, rising above. There we go. I, I, I got to write that down. Rising above. That's it. Look, this is how you should be feeling right now, Libra. That's it. 
That is how you should be feeling right now. You know what I'm saying? Just feeling like, <sighs> I can finally breathe. I'm ready for the next thing. What's next? What is next? Just let me have it. What's next, universe? I am ready. I'm leaving it in your hands. I'm leaving it in your hands, okay? All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you with that labor. I'm going to just let it go right there. I'm going to leave it right there. I want to let you know I love you. I'm with you. I'm one of you. And I'm always here for, again, a personal reading. If that's what you need to help you move you on to the next area, you know, the angels love to get your messages. They really do. It's like a breath of fresh air for them. Like, yes, finally, I can get this off my chest. So anyway, I want to let you know that I love you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, I want to leave you with peace, love, and tranquility. I love you, my beautiful ones. Namaste.